Yo, it's Mega, aka the Art Messiah, here to save you from your art sins. Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to draw the human figure from a bird's eye perspective. Now this is a really cool shot to do uh, for your characters, it's very dynamic, it's going to bring these characters to life. And if you don't know the basics of perspective, 1.2 point and 3 point perspective, just check out last week's video. We went over it in about 10 minutes, uh, just giving you the basics about how to do this stuff. Remember, if you like this content, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, we are going to be drawing our character head on, but tilting our camera upwards to get that bird's eye view perspective, which means that her, our horizon line needs to be really high on the page, and in this case, even extends past it. So just imagine that your horizon line is very high, and we're going to go in and freehand this cube. Now, if you notice, the bottom vertical lines, they are kind of sloping inwards, and they are sloping inwards to that third vanishing point. Check out my three-point perspective um, section of last videos to understand that. Now, those top vertical lines, um, they are kind of, again, sloping inwards, and they are actually going to that vanishing point on the horizon line. So once we go ahead and freehand the cube, we draw in this big X, this big X in this front face of the cube, which is going to divide our cube in half, and we draw a horizontal line where that X intersects, and then we repeat that process. And I kind of go into, into depth a little bit more in previous video as well. Okay, so once we have these uh, intersections complete, and we've divided the box up into uh, eight sections, that means that each section is going to represent one head. So that very first thin slice block is going to represent the top of our head. And <clears throat> basically that is where your front face of your head will sit. And the top of the box is kind of, you know, looking at the top of your head, looking at your skull. Um, and so when drawing this perspective, we just get to see more of the top of the head. And that's what's going to really sell this idea that we're looking at this character from up above. Um, so again, try to copy mimic this shape. The ears um, fall just above um, that line that represents kind of like where the forehead is. Um, but I really encourage you guys to just kind of study the head in different angles to get the placement of the ears correct because it is a little bit counterintuitive. Uh, where you think you should place the ears like normally the ears are placed way lower but because of the perspective we're getting something a little bit different okay so the next really important landmark is going to be where the bottom of the pelvis is or the crotch and that is going to be halfway down on the freehand uh, cube that we made now that we know where this crotch is we can start to draw on the torso so we kind of draw on this oval shape that kind of goes um, around where the head is and notice this new concept of overlap okay so in perspective overlap can tell you what's in front of something else in this case the head is in front of the torso so we go ahead and draw the rest of the torso in going down into the pelvis and notice how it stops right where the crotch is and we can go ahead and draw in the legs now and if you remember the knee is going to fall pretty much halfway between the edge of the pelvis and the ankles and so we do that in perspective. And notice how these contours, notice that these lines are curving. They are um, kind of like curving downwards and curving back up. And that's going to be the contour from when you're looking down at something. So we draw in the rest of the legs and also paying attention to how things are overlapping right now. And we go ahead and draw in the feet as well really quickly at the bottom of this cube. So we are pretty much all the way done with drawing this in perspective, which is awesome, but we need to include the arms. Um, for the shoulders, I just like to use little circles, um, little half circles to show they kind of tuck in to this torso, right? And then the actual bicep, notice how that kind of relates to the midway point on that torso. And again, just like that proportions video, the wrist is going to be where the 
uh, bottom of this pelvis lies so it's gonna be right at that crotch line and we go ahead and dash in some hands and we do the same thing for the other side and we're pretty much going to have this figure in perspective and uh, I want you guys to practice this portion of it not adding the details not adding the muscle um, but I am going to show you how it's easy to add in all those details after you have this mannequin so let's go ahead and see this quick demo and I'm gonna follow up with some final thoughts last tips and some exercises you can do to get really good at drawing this perspective So I want to quickly note that I'm using curved lines to represent all the folds in the clothes, including the shirt and in the pants. And this is to really drive home the idea of the perspective that's happening here. So if you start drawing in an upside down line, like a frowny face line to represent a clothing fold, it's going to look really, really weird. Okay, so we're gonna move on to this next demo and it's the same thing again. And I just wanna show you guys that you need to practice this over and over again. And also give you a little bit of a guide to the left there. You saw how we were using that three point perspective in this case. So hopefully you guys get a general idea of what's going on here. And now I think it's time to kind of take this to the next level. So this is what I suggest you do. Here's a practice and exercise that I've been doing and it's really be, been helping me. So hopefully this is gonna be helpful for you guys too. But um, go online um, and find this website. I'm gonna link it down below, but basically you can generate these 3D models in different poses and in different angles. And you take a screenshot of it and you go ahead and you bring it into your Photoshop, whatever um, software you're using, bring down the opacity, and you try to do what I just taught you. You draw a cube around the character and then you start to break that character down into a simple mannequin and just try to do this for as many different um, poses and angles as possible just to understand the shapes that the body is making and how stuff is overlapping each other because you can't just draw it from one angle and expect to know everything um, about this type of perspective. You need to draw it over and over and over and over again to build up that muscle memory so um, try out this exercise if you do it let me know let me know if it's helpful um, I've been doing it to warm up um, part of my gesture drawing exercises now because I'm just trying to get more comfortable with the forms of the body and from different angles because guess what when you're making a comic you're not gonna be drawing a character straight on every single time you're gonna be drawing it in so many different poses and if you want I can give you a little shortcut it's not really a cheat, but if you're having trouble with the pose, then come to this website, mock it up, take a screen grab of it, splice it into your comic and draw over it. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with studying and learning how the human body looks. Because at the end of the day, that's building your visual library and you're going to be able to draw that pose from imagination and from an angle that you haven't taken a screenshot of because you now understand the forms and what the body is actually made of and is doing. So hopefully that's helpful. It's really helped me uh, out a lot. And uh, that's my advice for today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this content, remember to go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, in other news, I wanted to highlight uh, this summer zine that I helped put together. I didn't really do a bulk of the work. I really have to give that credit to Blue Dragon and Robo Twin and Snark, um, I think it's Snark Claw. Uh, really just a fantastic team. We put that zine together. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so that you guys can check out all these amazing artists from the website I host my comic on, which is Comic Fury. Um, so look out for that and again catch me on um, Patreon because I'm going to be uploading a bunch of uh, More content like this like these tutorials you can get feedback critiques And you can also see all the behind the scenes for my webcomic ignition because we are about to restart that comic So I'm super excited. Thank you all for watching and see you guys next time deuces